And hello there, this is Izix with another stream of uh, Crusader Kings 2, Elder Kings mod. Yes, I'm back on Twitch today. And I'm actually was been on recording already, or uh, streaming for like four minutes. So I waited for the game to load up. But we are <laughs> Rithahara's Jahanes the Wise. And we are a pretty awesome kitty. We got some cool stuff going on here. It's pretty neat. And you are also kind of magical, but I think I'm slightly more magical. I'm not a wizard. Well, that's okay. I got all sorts of crazy powers and of killing people. I'm also a freaking genius, man. Unfortunately, none of my kids have the aptitude, so that is a little bit of a disappointment. Oh, well. Hmm. Came from my uh, mom being uh, quick and uh, you just being a genius. And then your parents were... That and just kind of a guy, so that's that's cool. All right, <laughs> let's get on uh, with the actual adventure today. So, uh, where we left off, uh, we were uh, slowly trying to encircle the Colovians because they are the jerk faces, and uh, we had some armies up north. We were maybe going to go after a little bit of uh, Winterhold, perhaps, perhaps, because unfortunately they are the one folks, and um, there was somebody over here that was tempted to go punch but now uh, they're, they're gone they're gone away but there is still winterhold mr winterhold and their holdings of winters and his wintered held stuff yeah uh where is your capital these days it is down here well that's interesting why are you down by like uh dunmarch and um where was the other what was the other the name of the place over here um on March. Hell yeah, yeah, that's where it is. <laughs> like, like there's one really place I should remember. Hell yeah, that's the name. All right, so we would like to go um, punch you a little bit. So we're gonna go for Cold Rock. Hey guy. Um, actually, let's let's quickly evaluate the realm. I got fifty-two thousand troops. Lock my beck and call whenever I wish. Intrigues are not super interesting at the moment. I would like not to be murdered, at least. So let's go check that real quick. Yes. Please stop murdering me. It's uncomfortable. Yeah. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Good to go. Um, also, of interesting note, my, I made my heir, my son. You're my son and you're my heir. And you've already had a kingdom signed to you. Just so I have less vassals to worry about. Also a nice giant one that I can be just like, yeah, we're gonna just kind of summon up these people here whenever we feel like. Hooray! We'll actually be over here. Yes. <laughs> 9,000 troops in my kingdom? Yes, yes, yes. More likely to think. Alright, so we're gonna go for uh, Conquest of Cold Rock. We stand at dawn, declare war. Hoo-ha. Let's go ahead and move right on overs. And um, we'll summon up those troops if we need them. But uh, otherwise, we're going to... Well, I guess we can always do this this round here. They're, they've been summoned up down here. That's what happened. <laughs> and uh, we'll uh, send them in that general direction. As for you guys, uh, we'll, uh, we'll do that. How about that? We'll just make a little extra something-something so there's less craziness here. Sure, we're going to fight in the winter, but... Oh, well. Uh, Matrilineal betrothals. Um... Okay. <laughs> it's all extended family. Um, you want my grandson to marry my half-sister? Um, um, I'm going to decline. Sorry, but that's how it's got to be. Anyway, <laughs> it's how it's gotta be. All right. Don't worry, this will be a pretty easy one. The war after, though, that's the ones gonna be a little more crazy. All right, uh, you want uh, my other half sister to marry this uh, my grandson here? I don't want my great grandchildren to be inbred. Could you just go somewhere else? 
She's plenty zealous, which is cool, but that, yeah, hmm. Yeah, about that. That is not optimal. Or is it? Bum, bum, bum. Actually, it's not at all. Alright, so, uh, for better or worse, we're going to be doing a lot of sitting around here as we wait for the sieges to get done. As the pencil you the tile separate of Elden Grove from Count Guy Person. Hmm. Well, these are kitties. They're Khajiits. We should be all like Count Meowsers. <laughs> so it's both Meow and Meow. It's an L. Hmm. Got Karen Lord causing problems. Don't worry, they will. They will rue the day when they came to bother me. During a visit to South Guard, Jarana uh, Jabari the Gauti's entourage were cousted by brigands. Um, yeah, I'll favor uh, the, the people that actually like me, or are supposed to like me. Hey, I'm now ambitious. Excellent. That gets me a bonus to things. Um, <laughs> I'm all, I just get stat boosts all over the place. <laughs> yeah, it's just a... Random uh, plus two here, um, cool. And uh, plus three here, yeah. I've just, just suddenly became diligent and, and ambitious. It was pretty neat. <laughs> All right, well that's a thing that just happened. Um, yeah, so uh, we're gonna keep progressing here. Now as I, I progress uh, through the campaign here and uh, the adventures, feel f free if you uh, have any questions to go in and ask them. Uh, yes, bandits have raided the siege camps. That's fine. Don't care about that. I am not weak, you see. I am mighty and powerful, Khajiit. Hmm. Khajiit has hairs if you have coin. No, it's not, it doesn't quite right, work right here. Uh, seeks to become regent. Um, okay. <laughs> you can seek it all you wish. You will not bring your happiness, though. <laughs> hmm. This should be. Might be able to squeeze this real quick. I'll go we'll go take over he uh, Helbin. Um, Subdia Sundiver. Hmm. Well, I guess I could claim this. Got a Grandmaster Chair of the, of the Mercantile Guild, of Damriel. He's a he's a pretty cool cat. Um, I wonder if I could, like, marry him and force a change in how the guild runs run. Probably not, but, you know, I can dream, right? To have the the, the merchant's guild or all the other guilds be you know, inheritable titles. <laughs> hmm. I think... A little painful, but... Worth it to basically lose about the same amount of troops to do attrition, so... Yeah. Uh, we'll get set these guys up here. To cause some mischief, perhaps. Hmm. So, uh, surrounding guard has been built to the Y Gold Tower. Excellent. So, we got some monies. Can we build anything else right now, or do we need more technological? We can go, go for some defensive stuff. Uh, love reinforcement rates. Pretty cool. Um... Yeah, let's go for mustering grounds. Big area we could just sort of have troops hang out. And then we'll be like, we're gonna muster, muster. Count down to the war. Um, this declared second war to oust Aran Ujra the ill tempered. Um, you know what, what's this title here? Oh, yeah, Taneth. Excellent. Neat. <laughs> House Robiri. It's inviting here. Hmm. Yes, uh, a good portion of the uh, important people in the realm at this point are relatives of mine, which is both disturbing and kind of cool. But it also means uh, I should be avoiding kinsling if possible. Hmm. to the of Jen from that guy, alright. Hmm, Renovig. Renovig, what are you doing? I'm, um, I'm renovating. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, what's this guy? We got a, um, a Geraldum of Korvonjund. It's apparently independent, so that's a thing. And let's go to Coldwind. And then maybe we'll go to Morthal after that. They're like, hmm, we should maybe not be here. I'm like, yeah. 
I'm going to try to surprise you. Oh, this is irrelevant. Uh, we have gained a better understanding of military matters of the battle. Alright. Cool. That's very good. Very good of yours. And thus we slaughtered a bunch of Nords, apparently. Now they have no army. Hooray! Just a lot of disappointment. So I think after this, our uh, our next adventure will be against the Clovians, so we can cut through here. And uh, then progress on the eastern frontier. So, uh, important bit is to get through here. And uh, who are these people? Oh, those are the uh, Korvanjund folks. Uh, and then we'll go af after a little bit of East March. Then maybe, I don't know, we'll uh, poke somewhere else. That's what we're going to do. <laughs> Lost 3,000 men just going this general direction. It's it's really kind of disappointing. But that's what going into Skyrim does for you. Just attrition's up, up the wazoo here. I don't know, it's not stad bound. <laughs> All right, uh, you guys can go back home because we don't need you anymore. We we've got this under wraps. This war is going to be coming to a conclusion very soon. Don't mind me. Ah. I met an old man dying on a train. All right. Willful, affectionate, and haughty. Now, remember, we're in vision 262 here, so we don't got all the nice bells and whistles here. Uh, willful, affectionate, haughty. And uh, that's the marks there. Affectionate, counsels willful. Um, affectionate. Uh, you can become a fighter kitty. My half brother. Interesting. Uh, Rowdy's out there. Wait, no, we don't got Rowdy. Uh, we got Haughty. That's what we got. Uh, do, do, do. Haughty cancels that. Hmm. I think uh, going for a little bit of uh, this sort of stuff might work. So, kid, go punch things. <laughs> Seems to be the general trend here. A lot of our uh, children's are uh, trained in the ways of warriors. Princess Goria arrived loot and pillage. Hmm. Declared Skywatch Revolt War. Groovy. Hey, I could call in allies. I could call in our vassals. Because apparently we got some uh, some vassals who are some sort of tribal, maybe? Hmm. Garak of Volinim. Go away, Garak. You are full of spelly things. Yeah. <laughs> ah. This is more Colovia up here, isn't it? Ugh. Just spreads like a plague. But when I cut off their uh, their main borders, which we're getting kinda close to. Uh, still a little bit of action over there. Mm. Successful siege. Drag Gorlod God Hater out of his hiding hole. Neat name. Uh, Cold Wind. Excellent. And uh, I guess we can go sit on Morthal for a little bit, but we're probably just going to win. <laughs> um, in fact, um, oh, this is not part of the kingdom, so uh, never mind. <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm just going to summon some uh, 6,000 some troops on your face, but no, nah, we're not going to. Uh, Rebellion Revolt War and the claims for Red Man. Cool. And they will never complete that siege before I am victorious. So they should not even bother. Ha 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 The fools. But they're going to still try. So that works. Hmm. <laughs> Everybody dies. Go, go, baby, don't go. Yeah, I got a song stuck in my head. Can I declare victory yet? No. <laughs> Just need a little 
few more days, probably. Or a siege. You know, either one works. Now I'll be getting mine first. Because we're, uh, we're sieging up Morthal, aka walking up to the t buildings there and swinging our swords around. That's uh, excellent, excellent mo monies. Uh, Eastern Casper Grit Brigands. Give it the uh, preference to the uh, Jarana. Excellent. We are now the victorious. Victorious. I will enforce my demands. Excellent. Excellent. I will send these fine folks this gentle direction. Yes. Yes. Oh no. Title loss on succession. That's not super important. Uh, what well, we do need to get our uh, situations in order. Once again, having the weird graphics things. People who are not married and not rulers. Who are of my religion, of uh, my culture, who are adults, and of my dynasty, because we play favorites around here. Um, half sister. Oh, uh, you know what? Sure, we're gonna give her a title. She likes me. She really, really likes me. And uh, we'll go. What is this? Uh, is this Cold Rock? You said. Yes, we'll give you the Shapsu Cold Rock. Have fun with that, my sister. Oh, excellent. Starting to feel that turn the jelly cheek is just stupid. I'm no longer patient. Oh, that's awful. Patience is just so good. Oh, well. So now we need to steal ourselves for a fight versus the Colovians. Now. Crazy thing is here, sometimes when we fight the Colovians, really annoying and stupid stuff happens. And if that happens this time, I will force quit it because it should not be happening. It all comes down to suddenly all my inheritance rules change because I took territory. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. And I've suffered that bug twice this campaign so far. So, according to Chancellor Jumhand, the peasants of Ishita have started a delightful tradition where the peasantry from several villages beat up to dance and feast and pair up for future marriages. Oh my. By promoting the tradition, Jumhand believes the country, uh, county will receive strong local cultures. Excellent. Um, yeah, let's go promote Ishita. Yes, I cannot wait until the. Uh, until uh, the, the Colovians are a, a dead, dead empire. Of course, it'd be nice to get some help on that. You know, just me cutting off their uh, their means of uh, egress and excress and um, express and being near some elves is going to be only part of the uh, solution here. All right, all right. Let's wait a few more days. Because it is middle of winter in Skyrim. <laughs> We are going to be conquering a part of Skyrim. Hmm. After being skillfully treated by court physician uh, uh, Herabanus, my uh, half brother Yarko is feeling much better. Perhaps he is deserving some praise. Um, sure, I'll give him a few bucks. You know, he lost murder, lost random chopping off of limbs later. Hopefully, maybe. Uh, <laughs> it's like yes. <laughs> you have a cough. That means we need. Pluck out your eye! Oh god. Alright, so uh, what are we looking for? We're trying to get Skyborn. The Skyborn Temple, you say. Um, we cannot inquish. Oh, oh. Maybe we can Inquisition. Oh, I got zealous! That was also dangerous. I also ran into problems with that before. Alright, so uh, what's our... Uh, what's our duchy situation here? Just go for County Conquest, but taking out a huge chunk of Colovians. Ugh. I'd be stupid not to. Ugh. Maybe even not something up here. I could I could always work around other directions, right? Oh, I got, I'm zealous. I didn't realize that. Yippee! <laughs> Alright, so that means we're actually going to change our program here. We're going to look at their... Their most largest, uh, uh, you know what, um, their long, uh, their largest holding on my border. I would love to go for, uh, Falkreath, but I don't got a border there. Um, uh, doo -doo -doo. White Run is pretty close. Uh, 
Is that close enough, though? Can I actually find it? Do -do -do. The rift. I can go for the rift. Maybe I can go for a uh, Falkreath. Uh, maybe not. I'm not seeing it here. Frost Crag, Frost Fire. How about some white run? No white runs. Okay. Um, there's always Grey March, Bleak Wind. Uh, not a very good option. There's just Sankretar. Seems like an option. Yes, yes. That will get us five counties, which is the uh, what we're pretty much doing. Uh, we have single wars for in general, so going a little bit more beyond that would be kind of nice. So uh, we're going to go for that. So, um, hey, King Provent, Pro Pro King Provent of the Clovian Estates, we stand at odds. I declare war. Inquisition style. <laughs> Alrighty, so you, you don't got a huge army yourself, but you got lots of friends, you got lots of dudes that can come to your aid. So, I'm going to preferentially raise up some troops in this neighborhood. Including this one, maybe? <laughs> Sure, they're gonna get killed in a moment, but that's fine. Got a nice giant stack of doom up there. Oh, uh, maybe putting these guys away for the moment. Bringing them up here, maybe. Can I actually click on the thing? Excellent. Has a distraction. All right, cool. And we're also gonna raise up the rest of our troops. Neat. Including the ones right here, because, yeah, just screw these guys. I want my troops. Dang it. All right, um, so we need to go gather up some uh, some strategic rally points, as it were. So we're going to go gather you guys up right here. Then you'll go off to this general direction. Uh, everyone down here. Yes, yes, I do mean everyone. You're going to gather here. As for all you fine folks on the eastern frontier, you are going to gather here. And I know there's stuff up here, but we can sort of poke at that as neat as we can. Uh, that's maybe not a good option. I shall send you off this general direction. Generally. Now we're going to gather them up here. Right, and I think that's most everybody, except the people down uh, Island Ways, but uh, we don't actually need their help, so they can go home. Three thousand troops we don't need, so. All right, so we got the big war versus the Colovians. We're gonna take a big chunk out of their homeland. Uh, after that, we'll be have be in striking distance of the, the Falkreath, and uh, if we can get even just two holy wars out of them, then that'll be fantastic. Now, unfortunately, one of the times that we did have uh, the craziness with the, the game freaking out and changing my succession laws was due to a holy war versus the Clovians. So hopefully that does not happen again. <laughs> if it does, I'm going to be so pissed. <sighs> anyway. <laughs> Excellent. So we got one loss, one victory, and we're going to get um, set up in cold corn. And then we're going to... Where are you guys going? You're going to... Where is their big stack going, mainly? And Toadstool. Alright, well, uh, we'll get these guys up to Cloud Ruler. It's a ruler for clouds. It's pretty big. <laughs> uh, King Provant has started calling in his minions, yes. But it'll be all for naught. Ho oh, ho! Yes, I'm going to be taking a big chunk... Unfortunately, it's not going to be, like, all of this guy's land, probably. Because he's got a couple titles. he got Sankrator, he got Dirich, just down here. That means he's probably got a number of vassals, like this guy. What's this guy's deal? He's up here. Uh, <laughs> like, like, random random counts in various places, maybe? I don't know. Hmm. But it doesn't count if it's not vicious enough for me. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, hmm. Never mind. 
And you are going places. Just gotta keep general eye on things for their main armies. Cause uh, are they fighting other peoples? I think they're fighting other peoples. Yeah, elsewhere in conquest across the spire. Hmm. King Jasper. Excellent. So you're going for the Koth Spire. Hmm. Just double checking. And it is the Clovian peoples that are, are doing it. Uh, Karth Spire. It's probably the Lordship, Lordship, so go ahead for this little bit of land here. Neat. So I uh, hope you are victorious, but we're going to be helping you with sort of with this, so that's cool. Maybe we'll uh, swing in and join your war afterwards. Where are you coming? Are you going to Pale Pass? And you're going to Toadstool. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Boom. Bing. Boom. Hmm. Arius! Oh no! They We lost a fight. That's fine. So I would love to crush their main army before it gets out of control. Going out of control. Going out of control. Uh, 15th last seed. So they're going to be for sure there first. Unless I can use magical powers to do something. I don't know. Um, that guy's sort of there. Um, J J J uh, Rajand, you are going to be replaced temporarily with that guy. And you are going to be the one in the middle of all this. It's going to be a dangerous fight, but it might be worth it. Maybe. Uh, <laughs> movement speed, damage, definitely all right. A mm, little extra damage here, though. Having me on the case could be pretty awesome, too. Um, yeah, we'll send this random guy over here. He'll do the thing, while well, I do the other thing. I'm a military genius, after all. And that's pretty sweet. All right, let's go uh, start uh, trying to chase down their army. They think they can win by going into the mountains. They think they can be victorious. They think they're outnumbering me will be enough, but we got Rajan and his amazing abilities. His damage might not be great, but he's got like uh, heavy footed bonuses and flanking bonuses and leading from the center plus 87 damage you get in this religious enemies plus 58%. And this is definitely a religious enemy situation. Um, you're going to Bruma? Well, maybe we'll just let you do it. Did you ever think about that? Hmm. We'll, we'll stop it. <laughs> well then. Well, now we're playing defensive. And for defensiveness, uh, he gets a plus 67%. Yeah, that's just the things I can see actually popping up here. Uh, actually, maybe that's maybe those all things. Yeah, but he, he's got some, some crazy bonuses here. And if he's playing defensive, he just sort of wins. Yeah, 23rd of last seed. Um, we're going to actually not spook them off. We're going to just leave our army uh, right here. Until the very last moment. Yes, and 23rd of last seed. All right, so we are now fightings. We are going to start moving this pile of troops in. So we're already kind of kicking their butts at this point. Combat is the best teacher. Rid the hard, Jahans the wise has become a more proficient commanders. Excellent, well we are presently uh, a veteran. Excellent, uh, what does that mean now? Uh, we're now a four star elite general, neat. And uh, they outnumber us, but we are still kicking their tails. <laughs> oh, wait, they're humans. They don't got those. And uh, we also got another thing coming in here. Hey, we are also heavy, heavy infantry leader. That's pretty cool. Neat. All right. Uh, Battle of Wild Eye. Wild Eye Joe. 
Been, been for Cotton Eye Joe. I'd been married a long time ago. Where did you come from? Where did you go? See, just look at that. They got... <laughs> they have lost literally thousands and thousands of troops there. That's, that's ridiculous. And now we're going to go kick some more butt over here. Um, and that, <laughs> that single battle got us 50% of our war score. That is madness. That's just madness. As for you guys, um, go over here. You guys are gathering up still. You guys can start CG business. You go right up, right in there, right up into the grill, and uh, yeah, we'll uh, continue to progress. Hooray! Hooray! With the first opportunity that we can crush them again, we will. But also going with holy wars, we're gonna start building up um, threat levels again. Which could be interesting. Which could be very interesting. Um, hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Alright. Um, I think I will go ahead and try to squeeze this one down to avoid crazy attrition. Excellent. Then we're going to crush their spirits over here and just kind of wander off that way. <laughs> For you, um, yeah, that's fine. We'll, we'll send these guys here, and uh, you guys can go up here. You guys can go over here. So we continue to gather up armies of various strengths to poke them in various ways. Yeah, we're gonna get ourselves a sacred tour, then uh, just uh, you know, <laughs> if we could just do holy wars for constantly against the uh, Colovians, yeah, we'll be able to take care of them. Quite quickly, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, yellow tick. Excellent. But unfortunately, we can't really generally do that. We'd love to uh, be in a situation where I just sort of hit them hard enough they explode. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Anger. Excellent. Yes, the remaining 50%, though, is going to be a bit more pulling of teeth. But that's all right. That's okay. Oh, hmm. Uh, bad news for Imperial Isle. Um, oh, for a full year we basically got nothing. Well, if they're going to be over here, we're going to run over them to get back to uh, these sorts of places. And hello. Uh, none will. None will what? We None will, none will rock you? Hmm, maybe. We'll have to think about that. Um, we got a mustering thing, so um, let's call in another dude. Yes, mustering hull. Toadstool hollow. Excellent. All right, so let's go build something new. Um, we can do some guard rooms. And recruits dormitory. And skirmishers dormitory. I think. Hmm. We're going to go for some heavy infantry of some sort. Hooray! <laughs> Could save up thousand sums and uh, to uh, get the other, uh, like, tech bonus ones. But, eh, uh, not right now. I just want more troops. Because the more developed white gold tower is, the more secure my general position is. It is such a good county to have the maid holding for. Yes, yes, yes. Very good indeed. Hmm. hmm. It's been a while since I've been zealous. All right. <laughs> All right, and I think I will just go ahead and assault that. Because 10 to 1 is always a good ratio. And uh, we'll win on this one here. Do, 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 do. I met an old man dying on the train. No more destination, no more pain. Cloud ruler! The ruler of all clouds. So that's hello. And we're going to go and assault that. And oh yes, we're going to assault this tribal holding. And thus, everything was awesome. Everything was great when you're part of a team. Anyway. <laughs> Got another stack down here, so let's get them to Brindleholm. We got you business over here, too. And, uh, just got a mad stack over here. 
Yeah, excellent. We got some uh, pretty decent armies running around here. Trumbe. Let's go to Linchal. As for East March, I could always wholly war them for a large section of their land. I prefer them to not be in a civil war for it. Rumor has it your kinsman Sir Renji has been influenced by the Grand Splendor. It is said that Renji is now con is now considered properly Palenjian. Oh, that's that's cool. Um, well, yeah, uh, yellow tick. Excellent. Go for some cold corn. The corn, it's so gold. My God. My god. Ooh. Hmm. Your vassal Jaran uh, Sakriva, the second of Gorgrad, is certain about his non inheriting uh, children. Alright, um. Can't just give out land to everybody. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> what do you think I'm made out of? Land? Uh, this is the title of Separate of Skywatch. Oh, excellent. Um. Taking command of things, I see. You have successfully wrestled control from a not member of the family. Yes, even though their uh, their 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 childrens are related by blood, they're not of the dynasty. So, an act has been brought before your court for murder. Now, uh, proposing the destruction of a new castle in King's Rest or Crest for uh, for less resources than such a massive project would normally require. Before you give him an answer, uh, Sakriva Haroni, your steward, whispers in your ear. Hmm, I know of this man. I believe we can trust him. Build me a castle! And make it not terrible, please. <laughs> or else. <laughs> My attempts to bring the settlers from other provinces proved successful. Alright, um, foreign enclaves. Neat. Uh, we've got some raiders. And perhaps even pillagers, too. Oh, bleak hammer. How bleak was it? It was so bleak that we decided to go beat up on these guys. Yeah. And then we'll go for Skyborn. The Skyborn. We'll get you mourn. Ah, uh, Renvig. What are you doing, Renvig? I don't know. You're uh, doing the thing. It's pretty cool. Alright, uh, by the way, how's that other war going? Um, Provence to the Clovid Estates is winning it, but uh, maybe my interference will help with that. Mm, there is a separate of such from other titles. I guess maybe I should go beat these guys up. That might be pretty cool. Just clear out uh, some of the riffraff. Hmm. So uh, we're going to change our direction to be going over here. Maybe over here. Yippee! All right. We got a small stack there. They got the small stack there. They got the big stack there. They got the small stack there. And they're moving over there. They do are doing the being and of the hokey pokey. And then they turn themselves about. That's what they thought it was all about. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what do you want? Yeah, you know, Sun Diver, once again. Now, if I had a vassal of mine who had it in for acquiring all of Colovia, I'd be like, oh, I'm going just going to press that. Maybe they'll be annoying to manage to sort out later. It'd be so much faster than what's going on here. And this is the and this is the speedy version. <laughs> Of course, it's the super speedy version, but I don't think I can become a warlord anymore. Well, I guess I could look into uh, look into the options there. Uh, what do you want? Betrothal can marry. All right, that's pretty cool. Uh, Robiri to Robiri, half brother to my kinswoman. Um, what do you mean no? Is our steward? Must um, allow matrilineal marriage. I'll accept my offer. Well, not my problem then. <laughs> they come to me and be all like, hey, let's do the thing. And I'll be like, okay. Then we'll do that. But, but, but. 
That's not what's happening. Assault! Assault! Ascension attack! Alright. Oh, we're uh, 100%. Never mind. Let's uh, declare victory and go home. Actually, let's... Uh, let's not quite yet. Let's, uh, let's help out our... Our vassal, our our offspring, by kicking some more ass, yeah. Um, so you you can go ahead and move out because we don't really need to be doing that anymore. Um, same with you guys. Is you guys just sort of break and split, and it's fine. We'll uh, be able to maintain the war quite easily. All right, um, now you're going to do it. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> hmm, getting out here was got the Shepsu Dragon Wall from the bold one. Oh, uh, okay, that fight is still going on. That's a little weird, but I'm not sure who's doing what over here. That's it's confusing. Uh, Rage Water. Wish I could get there faster. But it's Skyrim, everything's really just slow. Hmm. Got some lootins and pillagins. Uh, characters. Oh no, we've fallen down slightly. Well, that's fine. We can go uh, liberate that. Besides, we want to uh, delay slightly so we can go beat up these guys. Get out of here, man. You have no time here. You have no power. Here, there, everywhere. Hmm. Brr, hmm. Aha. And thus they were all destroyed. The Reachcliff tribe was defended, and our honor was satisfied. Excellent. We're back 100%. Their army has been pushed around, and we can say that we are victorious. Now, before I hit the peace deal here, I'm going to save. And if this, like, changes my succession laws, then we're going to immediately force quit. <laughs> I know that might mean it's the end of the stream, but uh, I cannot accept that bug happening to me again. It's just so freaking annoying and stupid and pointless. Let's do the thing. All right, am I still on the right succession laws? I got threat. Okay, we're still on primogenitor. Awesome, we did not get a bug. But our threat levels, we're now threatening. I have 50% threat. So I need to get on to my next fight pretty quickly here. But first, let's decide on getting these uh, titles handed out. You're there, would you like some land? Would you like some Sancritor, maybe? None of these are like super duper special places, right? I got some archery going on here. And paddocks. No. Uh, yo! You are my half sister. Would you like a title? We're gonna give you. Sancritor. Have fun with that. And uh, you are now lord. As well as a princess. I am a Medesi. Hmm, interesting. Uh, we're gonna go for non will non will what? I don't know, but they won't be doing it with anyone except you. Next up, Princess of Teneth. And, um, that could be potentially interesting. What is this one here? Uh, Lipsad? Lipsand? Okay, it's like Lipsand. Uh, sad. It's like... Strong bad's like sister? I don't know. <laughs> Congratulations, you know, Lord. Um Aisha, commander of Hilkoon. Hilkuna Matater. Um Pale Pass, perhaps? Uh, there you go. It's now yours. Hooray. And uh courtier in Alabaster, you say? You're going to get ourselves an underpaul. Excellent. Now I do not have too many of the titles, and uh, but we do have the opportunity to potentially, you know, like to jure it up. Yo, we're gonna usurp this. 
for 100 gold from that guy, because he has no little control over that territory anymore. And I'm going to give it to my, uh, my half-sister. There you go. Separates. Oh, Sacrator. Congratulations, you are now, like, super lordly. Yeah. Uh, successor nominations. I see. So that's the problem. It's the titles. It's the years of being of the titles that was the problem. All right. Well, this maybe wasn't as extensive as a stream as I was hoping for. <laughs> but uh, I think I'm going to call it here so I can do some experimentation. But I would like to thank you very much for joining me. Or, yeah, on the... For another my, my my productions of Izzy is taking an easy week but wanting to stream sort of adventures. And I will see you guys on another stream, perhaps. If you want to watch this on this on the Twitch, make sure to hit the follow button for more. If you want to watch this later on YouTube, there's a subscribe button for similar sort of things. You know, the drill by now. Also the likes and the comments and the the children's of the realms for the comments. Make sure to put those down below. And, uh, yeah, and I will see you guys next time on the next exciting adventures of Crusader Kings 2. Glitches cause things to happen. Hooray! <laughs> Plus, I'm getting kind of hungry. It's getting about my dinner time. Until next time, everybody. Toodles. Woohoo!